Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you another one of my favorite Harry Lorraine type card tricks and essentially what you do is he obviously performs his trick a lot better than I do. Um, his patter is, you know, really interesting and entertaining. I'm kind of dry, but this effect is really, really cool. And um, the way he performs it is he basically, you know, describes a story of him at a party and um, basically, you know, somebody else comes to the party that hasn't seen all these tricks, but I guess he's been performing for, you know, a few hours now and he's bored. So he just does this little card trick just to know, okay, you know, I want to talk to this person over here, but, you know, this guy wants to see a card trick, so let me go ahead. I'm just going to show him a quick card trick, try to keep up the conversation with somebody else. And basically, it's really cool because it's almost like you're not trying. It's like a super, it's a super lazy card trick in essence. So basically what he does is he has somebody... Um, you know, just go through the deck, he can have them, you can just fan the cards out if you want, you can have them pick a card from here. And then what they do is, you know, they pick the card, they look at it themselves, in this case this is going to be your guys' card for the trick. And he tells the guy, okay, you know what, just go put that on top of, just, you can just put that on top of the deck, right? Because he's tired, so he's not, you know, too involved with the trick, and he says, alright, uh, why don't you just cut the deck real quick? So the guy cuts the deck, he says, alright, um, why don't you just, you know, complete the cut, put it back on top. And okay, so, and at that point, he's acting like he's having a conversation with somebody else over here. And he says, you know, why don't you just, you know, just keep doing that a couple times. Um, you know, just keep cutting the deck, right? So he's trying to keep this other guy busy. And the other guy just keeps cutting up the cards, you know, just a few times. And then he cuts it up a bunch. And then, you know, Harry tells the guy, he's like, all right, you know, why don't you just uh, flip it over? So he says, all right, flip it over. He goes, okay, um, why don't you go and cut the cards again? So the guy cuts the cards. He says, all right, complete it. So eventually he goes, okay, why don't you cut the deck while it's face up for a little bit? So, you know, the guy's cutting the cards face up while Harley's talking to the guy. And then eventually he says, you know what, let's go ahead. We'll take the cards and I'll tell you what. So it's very, very simple at this point. Um, he just kind of, you know, tells the guy, he says, you know what, um, okay, so why don't we just, we, we can get this trick done and over with. Why don't you, he, and he does a little bit of misdirection here, but he tells me, you know, why don't you just, um, why don't you go ahead? I believe the card should be. He's like, why don't you take nine cards off of the deck? Just take nine, should be nine cards off the deck. So the guy goes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He goes, you know what? I think the next card is going to be, it should be your, you should, the next card should be yours. So he flips over the card, and then lo and behold, guys, this is going to be your guys' card from the trick. So if you guys want to learn how to do this super awesome card trick, do not forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright, so here's how you guys are going to be able to do the trick. So it's really, really cool um, and it's not difficult at all. In fact, it's completely self-working and you guys can do this, you know, as long as you have time to set up the deck, it is going to work like a charm. So all you have to do is take um, one suit of the cards. So in this case, I have the, the uh, diamonds here and you just have them ace through king face up so when it's through face up guys you should have the ace through numerical order and the ace should be the first card you see just like that so this is going to be your setup just go ahead get these cards out and put them on the bottom of the deck right here all right so once you've done that the trick is uh, ready to go all you can do if you want is a couple false shuffles so you could just do a riffle shuffle and then make sure to leave you know obviously these 13 cards here down at the uh, the bottom of the deck and then the other thing you can do as well is I did like a Hindu shuffle. That's what Harry Lorraine does in his performance. He takes about half the deck and he just does a quick Hindu shuffle like this. That way the bottom half of the deck isn't getting disturbed, but it looks like the spectators, if you're just talking to them, it looks like it's getting mixed up. So that's all you got to do. You can do a couple false cuts if you want and just kind of mix up the deck um, to what it looks like in the eyes of the spectator. And then from here, all you do is you have the spectator um, pick a card. So you could, you know, fan the deck out on the table, maybe like this. Um, so that way the bottom cards aren't exposed. Or you can just go ahead and, you know, spread the deck out to the spectator. You just don't want them to pick one of these uh, diamonds back there. So just go ahead, spread out the cards to the spectator. They can pick any card except for one of those. And you just put the deck back on the table. And let's say this is going to be the spectator's card for the trip. So from here, you have the spectator's card chosen. And you still have all those cards here at the bottom. And what you're going to do is, okay, um, you can just tell your spectator to go ahead and put their card. Why don't you just put that card back on top? And you're just really nonchalant, just kind of, you know, like as if you're not really, you know, too involved with the trick. And you tell the spectators, okay, uh, why don't you, and you can, if you want, you can look lost a little bit. Just say, okay, well, why don't you just cut the deck really quick? So they cut the deck. You tell them, all right, why don't you just, you know, go ahead and complete it? 
and they complete the cut. At that point, their card is, you know, obviously just below all of the all of the suits. So from here, the trick is set up. All they do is put the card on top, you cut the deck, and you can literally have them cut the deck as many times as as you as they want to. They can cut the deck as many times as they want, it doesn't matter. And then from here what you're doing is you can tell them to stop or you know whatever and you say okay why don't you just do it face up for a little bit so from here what they do is you're having them cut the cards as many times as they like as well um, but the main important thing is you want to stop on a diamond so at this point you could stop the trick here and the card would actually be 11 cards down in the deck so let's keep going until we get a number card you know you can keep cutting the deck here and then okay so let's say here whenever you see a diamond this tells you how many cards down theirs is from the top. So at this point, let's say, you know, they stopped cutting the deck and they stopped with the nine of diamonds. Now from here, once, you know, you get to the face up point, you kind of want to be a little bit um, misdirecting because you don't want them to look at that nine for too long. You say, okay, well, let's go and take a look at the deck here and you flip it over and, you know, you don't let them see that number for too long, but you do know that the card is in nine cards down from the top. So what you do is you count eight, and then the ninth card is going to be there. So that's what that tells you. We have a nine of diamonds, and you count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then in the ninth position is going to be, I don't know what put the card, I think it was like eight. Yeah, there was a nine of spades right there. So that is the trick, guys. It is super, super simple. It's self-working, um, and the spectators are going to be amazed just because you know, after you've cut the deck all this time, you just think in your head, okay, um, I don't know, maybe try to check, what is it, like maybe nine cards down? Let's, let's do that. So you just act super casual, and the spectators are going to be amazed. And um, also, all the cards that you're actually dealing down on top are indeed the other diamonds from uh, that setup. So that is how the trick works. It is super awesome and super simple, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun with it. Um, and that's it for this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching.